There is almost certainly a strong relationship between population size, growth, competition, and conflict, but it's not as straightforward as you might think. A straightforward model would suggest more people, uh, higher growth rates, more conflict. But it turns out to not be that simple. It turns out to have a lot of variability depending on the histories of specific societies, their technologies, their exchange practices, and perhaps their social organization. What we see in the Central Mesa Verde area, our northern study area, is that as populations grow and the first villages form from 8600 to 900 was actually a quite peaceful period. But in the 1000s and 1100s, there came to be a, a much higher level of violence. And that violence subsided in the 1200s, early 1200s, even as populations grew, and then exploded again as populations left this area in the late 1200s. So in general, in the northern study area, more people meant more violence. But even there, it's not a simple kind of linear relationship. But then when you add the complexity of the South, things change dramatically. In the South, that is in the northern Rio Grande, the most violent period is the period when populations are first moving into that area and probably settling down into their agricultural niche in the 900s and 1000s. Then as populations grow, instead of it becoming more violent, it becomes less violent. This is a huge puzzle and extremely interesting because one of the other things that's happening at the same time is this revolution in ceremonial practices where people have fewer kivas and they're probably centering all their ceremonialism at the Puebloan level. And also there's this economic reorganization. And if you are trading heavily with neighboring Pueblos, you probably don't want to have warlike relationships with neighboring Pueblos. So the history of conflict and the history of population growth are really intertwined, but there's no simple linear relationship between the two of them.